your legs around the neck of an opponent, twisting. That's a lot of impact, very fast. It's like a free chiropractic practic adjustment. Oh, and, and there you see the double wrist lock. We saw this from Sabre last week, successful in a tag team bout as the head scissor wrenched on. It was he and Joe that defeated Christopher Daniels and Matt Seidel, former world tag team champions. I, at the beginning of this match, Caprice, I, I was worried that Sabre might be taking Rocky too lightly, but not mm. right now in control. Sabre's focus seemed to be on Joe. Uh, Sabre, Sabre definitely knows where he's at right now with those transitions in play, one move after the next, and that's just the way Sabre is. Moving around the cockiness that he has, those mental game plans that he has. He has Rocky Romero crawling right now. Snap Mare takeover. Rocky holding on. Yeah, yeah. Rocky with an exchange of his Ooh. own there, and Sabre. Rocky holds on, back up to his feet, and it's Sabre again! again. And that's one yeah. of our colleague, Nigel McGinnis' favorite moves. We're going to give a shout out to Nigel coming up. Oh, come on. Mm. Giving a very successful tour of the UK with his magic tour as Sabre now in control of the neck of Rocky. Five minutes elapsed time, 10 minutes remaining in the time limit. And it's going to be the arm of Sabre and the neck of Rocky that we're going to be looking out for. Both men trying to plant seeds to finish the match. And Rocky with that open hand. Saber wants another. And of course, that chess game you talked about, Caprice. Yeah. You're not going to get a free shot against Saber. Absolutely. He held onto it, blocked it just to get Rocky close to him, to close that gap so he could wrap there again. That Kavad is in. And watch Saber's right foot. He likes to go inside and get that ankle trip. When he's yeah. in the curve, it's, it's to block you from rolling through it because you can roll forward through. Uh, it, it, if Rocky gets his sense about it, he can roll through there. But when you block the leg, you can't roll, and it puts you in a seating position. Ooh, there you it. go. And again, yep. Rocky twisting out of it. Great snap suplex there from Rocky Romero. There's some great wrestling going on here, man. And if you're not a, 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 an avid wrestling fan, a lot of stuff will go by you. But it's a lot of chess being played here and a lot of checks as well, like move for move, back and forth very fast. Open hand from Rocky Romero. And the striking portions of these matches, Caprice, you're absolutely right, feel like they're checkers. But rest assured, both men so talented that the Hurricane Rana caught. Uh, that, and there yeah. you see, that's the chess you were talking about. The Hurricane yeah. Rana caught in the ankle lock. Just lacing the, lacing the left leg to stop the momentum of that Huna Karana just so he can get that ankle lock. And look at Romero trying to push up to alleviate the pressure, forcing Saber to correct his grip. Mm. And the rewind kick connects on Saber. Absolutely Rock tremendous back and forth exchange here. Yeah, Rocky with that kick, but didn't have enough to capitalize. He's still in a lot of trouble. You can see right there, even while he's limping. Taking his time, going to save. He's not rushing in. And delivering the open hands across the chest to Sabre. Oh! <laughs> Little curly Larry Moe there. Off the ropes. Irish whip reverse. Sabre following Romero in. European mm. uppercut. It's Romero springboard. Catches Sabre with a wow. DDT. He got all of that. You can see Sabre is jammed Two. up. Ooh. Sabre was stiff. Even his left arm is still stiff. Well, if you remember last week, Caprice, it was Christopher Daniels working on the neck of Sabre. Rocky yeah. Romero has, has to know that Daniels softened that neck up. Yep. And, and that might be great, because Romero's finishing moves to Shurinoy. Instead, up and over. Forearm connects. Is that variation of the slice bread? Yeah. Oh, right. the, look at the arm bar in the ropes. Break the hole, Rocky. Oh, and Sabre caught the knee. The knee is wow. not trapped. Oh, God. And, and Rocky, he can't, he can't breathe. Well, you know Sabre's going to take every bit of that count, had him trapped. He knew what he wanted to do. The reason why he didn't let go in the start, he was almost waiting for the five count for Rocky to break the start with. So he can lock that move in. It's a smart move. I mean, it's, it, it wasn't pretty. But I tell you, it was smart by Sabre. Sabre staying on the neck area of Rocky. Nice snap suplex mm. there. Powering the hips in and then back. Oh, God! Drop right kick. there to the back of the neck, yeah. Two lateral press! Two it's only. There's a bullseye target 
on the neck of Rocky Romero right now, and there's nothing he can do about it. And Sabre's locked in, Riccoboni. And, and you can tell Caprice because normally out of cover, Sabre would maintain control of the wrist. Instead, mm. it's just these cheeky kicks now just to yeah. irritate Romero. It's frustration he's trying to lock in. If you get him fighting mad and, you be, and you're wrestling, you're going to stay in control. Oh, European mm. uppercut delivers on Romero there. Oh, and again. Driving those forms, caught this time. Looking for the back slide. Instead, Romero, wrist lock into an arm bringer there. Get back to that arm. And that's how he finished off Titus Alexander. That's how he finished off Lee Moriarty. Went to that arm bar, the open hands. Oh, under the jaw. Rapid fire. Oh, a pop knee. God, that knee caught Sabre right in the chin. Oh, but he gave up his own knee, Caprice. That was the knee. Sabre had done some damage, too, earlier in the bout in that ankle lock. As Romero off the ropes. Short eye. Cover, cover, cover. Puts the inside leg. leg. Two. Rocky gets Ooh. two. And so close, I got to think that knee was damaged just enough that Rocky didn't get as much as he normally gets on that. As How much time do we have left? Ten minutes elapsed time. Five minutes remaining in the time limit. Well, there you Did go. Did you hear me? Looking for the Chernoy. This time countered. Counter by Saber. Body lock sleeper. Shades of how Joe tapped out Christopher Daniels last week. The wrist grab, though, from Romero. Trap. Two. Mm. Saber. Two. Rocky looking to play spoiler. Two. It's a dangerous game right here. Two. Whoa. <laughs> what? What? Turner, talk to me. And if, if it was any other official than senior referee Paul Turner, I would be scratching my head, shaking my head. But Turner was right there. I trust Paul Turner's judgment. Romero right back to the arm of Sabre. And the damage is being done. Sabre cannot move that arm. Even when he landed on his neck, he went straight to his arm again. Ooh. There you go. Rock right into it. That's it. Diablo armbar. Can he get it? Hyperextended. He kicking the, the leg, oh. kicking the face. He it's got it Saber. Nice. Saber gets out of it by trapping the legs. He traps the legs. Saber into an E-bar. Oh, God, a calf killer. That calf killer. He rolled stretch. too high on the calf killer. And, oh, my. They're both in a submission. And Rocky's this got the arm. Arm. Yeah. And look at the ankle lock. The pressure on the ankle of Saber. Oh, into the wrist. What? Open stretch and Rocky taps. The winner of this match by submission and still New Japan Pro Wrestling, World TV Champion, Zack Saber Jr. Wow. How many moves do you have to have? How many moves do you have to know to be able to transition from move to move to move like the television champion did? Saber is champion for a reason. Every time he comes out, he has another move to display. He shows another arsenal. He's not afraid of anybody, and he feels he has made this New Japan television title, Rick Body.